In a world where people waste vast amounts of food, global warming got out of hand. Polar bears began to rise up, creating a massive polar bear apocalypse. Okay, not really. But if something isn't done, food waste can cause real problems. One thing that can be done is to make our garbage work for us. What many people see as rotten fruits and vegetables should be seen as a potential source of energy in other products. This is all made possible by anaerobic digestion. Anaerobic digestion works through methane forming bacteria, breaking down organic matter to form methane and nutrient rich liquid. At Rutgers, we produce 30 to 50 tons of food waste daily, all of which is picked up by a pig farmer who gets paid over $100,000 annually to haul away the food waste. This is a major waste of our waste. This method produces greenhouse gases such as carbon dioxide from the fuel burned in order to transport the waste. The pigs on the farm also produce methane, which when allowed to be released into the atmosphere, acts as a major greenhouse gas. The anaerobic digestion system, shown here, however, captures the methane to be used to generate electricity. You can even make one yourself. This is the mini digester that you can make at home by yourself. All it is is a Home Depot bucket with a lid and some plumbing parts. So what I did, I drilled a hole in the lid put this pipe through it, thread it on both ends, right here and right here. And you put washers on both sides of the lid to keep it in place. <laughs> then I took a valve right here. You can open and close a valve to let the gas in or out. Then I put a nozzle right here. You can stick a balloon on here, whatever you want to catch to capture the gas. <laughs> and then once you have that all you do is you put shredded newspaper, water, and whatever rotten vegetables, leftover food you want to put in here. Meat doesn't really work, but any kind of, any kind of vegetable or fruit you can put in here and it'll decompose and produce methane. Then you put septic tank bacteria in here, close it up, and you're ready to go. This whole thing costs about $20 to make. It's not very difficult, and you can do it at home by yourself. If run through a large-scale anaerobic digester, all the food waste on campus could produce over 400 million cubic feet of methane. When burned to produce electricity, this methane could save Rutgers $100,000 annually on electricity costs. Couple this with the $120,000 saved from not having to pay the pig farmer and the system could save over $200,000 per year. The other byproduct of anaerobic digestion, liquid fertilizer, can be used on campus and can replace harmful synthetic fertilizers. Encouraging Rutgers to implement this system is up to us. Doing so will make Rutgers much more sustainable and environmentally friendly. We have put together a petition to gain support for implementation of anaerobic digestion at Rutgers. Once completed, this petition, along with a cost-benefit analysis of anaerobic digestion, will be presented to Dining Services in an attempt to get this system implemented. If this is successful, Rutgers has a lot to gain from this system.